Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to January 16th through 31st of 2019. This is your collective reading for the second half of January. That means it is a group reading. Uh, all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs will be affected by this reading, and that's the information I'm requesting. If you would like a private reading, please go to royalmystic.com and book your reading there. So with that in mind, we'll continue. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here along with our higher selves to allow all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you, Divine, for your presence here, opening our hearts and minds to the oneness that is spirit. We are all one, and we receive this information in the collective. Thank you so much. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Nice. Very nice, Scorpio. Wow. Very nice. Great combination. This is your here and now. Loving it. Relationship, love, life, and spiritual life. Very strong. Okay, here we have your career and finance. This is only the half of the reading, and it's already great. So <laughs> we've got another set of cards coming out to clarify. So don't, don't, uh, don't change your channels. Here is. <laughs> Here is the uh, nine, uh, the eight. Sorry, the eight of pentacles. Got excited and forgot what card I was looking at. The eight of pentacles is the apprentice card. That means there's something that's being learned to assist you in in uh, accentuating or expanding your financial income. This is the unmanifested where it's suspended in the air, waiting to come through. Okay, so whatever it is you're learning, it's either something on the job or something new that it it doesn't have to be an official class. It's something that you're just, you know, you're learning. We learn through our lives uh, without even realizing it. The school of hard knocks is a real deal, man. <laughs> Here is the sun card. This is a wonderful alignment, allowing you to have the universal uh, shift to get the planetary alignment so that you have a straight path right down the middle. See, the planets are all this side and this side, but right down the center, there's an open path. So, that means you get to make up for lost time. Anything that's been in your way is now removed, and you have nothing blocking you to your highest wonderful energy here. This is the happiest card in the deck. That's why I was so excited. Now, second card came out was the Scorpio energy card. This is the Ace of Cups. So, it's showing a new cycle beginning, and it's the blessing of the universe. The all-seeing eye right here shooting that beautiful divine light down into this cup and this is the elixir of life this is the holy grail so this is very much in alignment with this uh sun card so that means that you've got this blessing intentionally and uh whatever the new thing is you're about to begin is a blessed beginning so this this shows a quest this is someone following their their life path this is moving into something, and this is your definitely your energy. These are the cups, the eight of cups. So you're ready to go forward. You, you're ready to turn loose of anything that doesn't assist you and follow your higher self. Now you've got the hermit card, which is also talking about your higher self. And it's telling you to allow yourself to get on your divine path. A lot of you are having a, an, a, pivot, a pivotal moment here where the... Uh, drive or calling for your from your higher self is beckoning you to go within. Uh, it's it's like um, understanding that everything we see in the in the world outside our bodies is uh, sort of the, the the grand movie show, but the stuff that's within is the real answers, the keys to the things that are happening on the outside. So please do your meditation, center yourself. Allow your higher self to speak. That means you have to be still and quiet and allow that to happen and be listening, okay? Uh, if you need some meditational inspiration, I have a playlist on my channel. Click on my eyeball icon and it'll take you to my homepage. And on there, on the very homepage, on the very first page, it shows at the bottom. Uh, it says energy, energy work or energy healing and chakra work. 
I think. Uh, so that playlist has like 76 different things that I've compiled. All of them I use and they're very good. So if you need help with your meditation, you can also do yoga, tai chi, any kind of chakra meditation or sound work will help. Here we have, or, or just being in nature, okay? My guides made sure I mentioned that. Here is the uh, high priestess. So this is your relationship, love life, and spiritual life section. Now this is saying that you are being divinely guided. Your higher self is here and is active. So this is saying, keep your heart pure. Stay in, your, in the love harmony of that the divine energy of your heart chakra. You don't have to... It doesn't have to be apparent to you in the physical realm. It can be the idea or the, the goal that you have in your mind, whatever you're being called to do, visualize it and let the universe take you there. You don't have to worry about the details. You just have to keep your goal straight. And this is telling you, you're going to make it. Now, you have the King of Swords. This is the Archangel Michael. It can also be someone who's an air sign which would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This person uh, is playing a big role in what's going on here, okay? So this is a definite assist. Uh, it may be a person in your life that, that is also in the uh, same realm of being guided and is able to help you and, and, and help you get, you know, stay in that mindset of being... Um, Allowing your, your higher self to, to ring true. Now, for some of you, this will be someone who's uh, more protective and an advisor. This is uh, what my goal, my goal, my goal, <laughs> Michael, my goal. <laughs> I can't talk right now. This is uh, the Archangel Michael, who is the protector and clearer of paths. He moves obstacles. He's also the, the protector and the... Uh, defender of the truth and just okay so if it is a person who is in your life who you are having a, a relationship with in, you know or, or is in your uh, relationship love life and spiritual life so relationship can mean uh, really close friends uh, it doesn't have to be a lover okay so just so you know this person can be an engineer they can be someone who is a, a, a surgeon they can be a doctor or a lawyer this is all having to do with the type of work they may do but they are definitely someone who is of counsel to you now you have the king of Pentacles now the king of Pentacles is King Midas this is being very grounded and rooted in whatever may be committed to something this is uh, digging in your heels and and preparing to do the work if it's a person, it would be an earth sign, which would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So, um, very good assists going on here, okay? So, these people don't have to be in a love relationship with you if they're assisting you in this higher move. Uh, that We'll know more when I get the clarifier, so I'm not going to keep going at that. Here is... The Nine of Wands. This is the very last portion of what you have to finish to get yourself going. Okay? So, there's one last thing to, to have done or do to make, to make this a, a reality. These are all the obstacles you've come past here. The other rods that are in the ground. And you may be exhausted, but you're almost done. So, don't quit five minutes before the miracle. And you have the Ten of Wands, which is allowing yourself to release a burden. So whatever it is that you've been carrying around on your back, um, whether it's something you're doing at work that's really exhausting or you've been really carrying the, the lion's share of the load, uh, this is a completion of that. So this means you've got the Nine and the Ten progressively. That's a beautiful thing. So here's the you doing the last portion. Here's the completion. Moving on. We now have a solid foundation of communication and a very harmonious energy here. So four of rods is about being very stable and communicative, okay? 
So we'll see what the clarifiers have to say. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising to have the clarification they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, Divine. Your presence is always appreciated and very welcome. Okay. The Eight of Cups twice. The King of Pentacles twice. Some of you are, are entering into uh, some kind of um, relationship with this. This may be something to do with a job. The King of Pentacles, King Midas, he would be the person who is the leader. Blast from the past coming around, okay? So, this may this can be a person, place, or thing. It be, can be something that uh, comes back around for a second chance or uh, an idea that you may have dismissed before returning. The High Priestess, again, higher self, and it's right on top of the Hermit. Simple uh, understanding that you have to follow your own path and allow your higher self to lead you. Okay, so, very nice. Here we have a little fear. It's not a little fear, it's a lot of fear. <laughs> this is the Ten of Swords, or the Nine of Swords, sorry. Ten of Swords is different. Nine of Swords. This is self-doubt and fear and anxiety, okay? Uh, you may be on the cusp of something new and be in that uh, self-defeating mode, okay? That self-sabotage. Do not entertain this. This is your power. You don't have to give it away. You don't have to make yourself feel like you can't do it. Okay? We've got to stand in our power and claim what belongs to us. And this energy here is not that. So please let that go. That's the only negative thing that's out here. And it's you doing it to yourself. Here is the ten, or the ten, the sun and the eight of cups. So... Whatever venture you're off on is is bound for success. So whatever it is that you're on, your quest begins, and it's success. And you have this beautiful Ace of Cups with the King Midas, which is the Ace, uh, the King of Pentacles. So this can be the new beginning with a new uh, a job, something that you're doing for work, or it can be an actual relationship. Then we have going off on, so maybe you feel like, uh, maybe you've done this before. Maybe you've started your own business or done something before and you have uh, that flashback of, of that new beginning uh, or something that you've tried before and you don't know if it, you know, it really didn't fit. So you're having a little anxiety, which would explain this nine of uh, swords. So, you know, you're starting again. You got it, you know, it comes back around until we get it right. That's what happens. And this is telling you, get into your higher energy. Allow yourself to be very calm, cool, and collected. Get centered on your path. Everyone has a destiny. We all are here for a reason. And I don't mean destiny like something you have to do. I mean destiny like something you need to learn. So whenever, and that's what this is talking about over here, is it's being a student of life. Okay? So... This is telling you to hold off any any negative energy somebody's trying to give you. Uh, you just trust in what you have and have faith. Hold the wolf away from the door. Don't allow them in. Don't allow anybody else's uh, uh, fear or words of uh, doubt. Don't let that in. You you only have to trust the universe, and and you can always trust that. Uh, the higher the higher spirit uh, divine is always on your side. So this is uh, definitely some kind of offer or a good or gesture of goodwill toward the or with the king of swords. Okay, so for some of you, it may be that's the person who's trying to uh, have an actual relationship with you in some way. It could be having to do with. Uh, something they're advising you on and giving you the information. So here is the King of Pentacles and the Moon card. So he's out here twice. He's confirming himself, okay? 
and this this is to be revealed so this may be the financial end of what you're doing here uh, I don't know if it's something that you're uh, it remains to be seen that's what the this is something that hasn't quite developed all the way ready to be seen so it's part of the journey because you see the moon card here you see it's got the face well you may not can see it because it may be a glare so You've got this Eight of Cups twice, and in the Eight of Cups, there's definitely the presence of the moon, okay, on both of these, and that's the moon part. So whatever this new journey, this new venture that you're headed off toward uh, is destined for, for whatever the outcome is, and the outcome is not for sure. I guess it depends on where you take it and how you do it. So it's not showing that it's bad, definitely showing the uh, King of Pentacles, so that's definitely good. And here is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a lifetime of money. This is the ability to earn enough money to be set for life, okay? So whatever the little legwork you're doing here is gonna set you up for this big success. And it's going to be some work before the actual money starts to come in. Okay, the payoff takes a minute. You got to do the work first, but it's coming, and you you'll be very excited. Just know that once once you do the work, the payoff comes in. It it's not going to be an immediate thing. It takes some while to, for the energy to move, but you'll get it. And there it is, telling you be patient. You will be stable. Uh, you will be able to sustain yourself. So, I feel like I'm speaking to someone who's starting their own business. So, thank you so much uh, for all the like, shares, and subscribe, Scorpio. Thank you for watching my channel. Please remember, I also have the dailies. It's a way of supporting my channel without uh, having to dig too deep in your pocket. Um, I, I do not accept donations. I've asked people that have asked me, oh, do you, and I know, uh, I don't mess with that, but I do exchange. So fair exchange is you pay the monthly fee and I give you daily readings. So, uh, that also helps me. So if you want to do that, that'd be great. If not, we stick with the free readings. It's not a problem. Uh, YouTube blessed me with the option to have memberships. So I took up you know, the universe provides, you don't turn away. So I love you all. I hope to see you again in February. So this is great. I, w I can't wait to see what the comments say. You guys got some things going on. There's some big movement uh, spiritually and, and financially. So many blessings to you. Thank you and namaste.